Hey everybody, okay, welcome back to the third and final installment of the chicken and dumplings for today. So everything is in the pot. It is now seven o'clock. And I want to show you, I put the chicken in here. Look at that. Okay, let's get out of the steam. There you go. So looking at it, you can't tell what's canned. You can't tell what's been dehydrated. Everything is fully hydrated. It tastes really good. I wouldn't do anything different. So at this point, I'm making chicken and dumplings. But you can also pan this. You are making just chicken soup. You can add noodles for your dinner tonight. Don't add any noodles to the pot. Add them separately and then mix in with your bowl of soup if you're going to can it. If you're not going to can it, don't worry about it. No worries. There you go. There's a good chunk. Whoops. That fog. <clears throat> there we go. Looks amazing. It tastes amazing. So I am going to be making the dumplings that go with this um, with a Bisquick recipe. You can use whatever you want. Um, Bisquick is two cups of the Bisquick mix and two thirds cup of milk. Mix them together. Make your soup or whatever you're putting them in boil. You want to um, cook them while it's boiling for 10 minutes uncovered and then 10 minutes covered. And then you'll have perfect dumplings to go with your chicken. Let me know if you guys try this and how it comes out for you. <clears throat> and if you have any questions or anything about canning, this part of it, just the chicken as it is, chicken soup. It'd be perfect for chicken soup. If I have any leftover, I will be taking out any pieces of dumpling and then canning that. I've done this in the past. It works out very, very well. I'm very careful about um, discarding pieces of dumpling that were left in the soup before I can. Let me know what you guys think. Came out delicious. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.